Hi, I'm going to introduce you to our new Keen Super High Banker. This is a unit that we use for people that want a lot more capacity. If you're going to have two or four people digging in an area and you need to move a lot more material, this is a great unit. And I'm just going to kind of show you and show you some of the fine points. The hopper is adjustable on the height and it's also a little longer, what's called grizzly screens that are inside here than most normal high bankers. That's so if you're dealing with material that's got a lot of clay on it, the clay will stay on there, get rinsed, and then I can flatten out the classifier also if I want to, so I can keep the clay in there for a longer time, so it has a chance for the water jets to spray and emulsify it. You'll notice the spray bar here has two rows of holes in it. That's so you can get enough water flow and enough gallonage to be able to run a sluice of this size. It also on the front of the manifold here, it has an on and off valve. So if your engine's running and you want to cut your water flow off, you just turn your valve off. There's also a three-quarter inch auxiliary uh, garden hose fitting, so you can put like a five, six, eight, ten foot hose, and you can use that to wash out your buckets or wash out the sluice to get your values. Now underneath the hopper, I'm going to pull all this up so you can see it. Look at that, just from running those five bucket loads, look at that, see lead? There's probably some gold in here, but we have to let it wash out a little bit more. We've been also finding a little bit of gold uh, with mercury on it. But, you know, it's a good thing we're removing it from the environment. Uh, we have a series of short riffles that are sitting on top of expanded metal screen and miner's moss. A lot of the gold particles like to uh, stick and, and fall and, and work their way deep down into the miner's moss. That's when miner's moss works good. But you have to have a screen on it or the miner's moss puckers up and uh, then you start to lose your riffle action. Back behind this riffle is probably one of the most important areas. And you see there's a lot of black sand behind it. And this is where most of my gold will collect. The idea of having such a large sluice and as long as, as it is, is you have surface area. Surface area means you have, you have more area for concentrates to build up on so you don't have to clean your sluice as often. Uh, we've, we've made high bankers that are like 12, 14, 16 feet long. It all depends on how much black sand you're dealing with and the type of operation you're working on. Underneath the uh, classifier screen, I'm not going to lift it up, but it's got that ribbed rubber matting down here. And what that does is most of the gold gets trapped on that before it even makes it to the actual riffles. Besides that, it's got some pretty neat clips, spring-loaded clips, so you can snap down the riffles too easy. You don't want to unsnap it when you got when you got values in here, because if the riffle lifts up, material gets underneath the riffles, and you don't want that to happen. And it's got. Uh, three sets of legs on it and they got double bolts on there so once you get it set up and adjusted you can tighten them all down to make a real strong platform. Now the box is 20 inches wide and it's 8 foot long. Uh, we've made them up to 24 inch wide. It really just depends on the application and the size water pump you're going to use. That's about a half inch height riffle and we split it up with half inch and a couple of three quarter inch. And one thing we've kind of found out is when you kind of break up the flow, when you go from short to tall to short to tall, it actually uh, it helps the box work. From our experience and our, our testing, this is what we found out. When we're in Africa, we're running, of course, a lot more black sands and, and, and also diamonds as well. You really need a, a taller riffle. So what we can do for sp special diamond applications or gemstone applications, we put a much taller riffle in there and we pretty much got the spacing and the flow uh, figured out so we can actually create a jigging action inside the sluice to capture s stuff like diamonds or sapphires or garnets or whatever. Uh, we've been experimenting with this box over the last couple of years in, in Alaska. My friend Bob has also been working on our new rubber riffles and putting it through the test to make sure it can handle the garnet sands because the garnet sands really are difficult to separate because the specific gravity of the garnet I think is about 4.5. The iron's generally a lot smaller and the black sand uh, filters out but with the box this wide it's pretty hard to get rid of any of the black sands and you know what the old saying is the more black sands you have the more fine gold you're gonna have and basically that's what we're trying to achieve with this box something real wide and real long.